Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the trackpad and wall pad RK28187 inch Android tablets. Now this is a very generic box. It has a picture of a similar tablet on the front. You know, color and capacity information here on the left and some other information here on the back. But they use this box for both of these tablets and I suspect they probably use this box for maybe more of these seven inch tablets as well. Now, I'll go over what's included when I open the box in just a second, but they also include this very soft pouch, which you can slip the tablet into. And once it's in there, you can just secure it by doing this at the end. So quite a nice, looking pouch so let's have a look inside the loop here so you can pull the tablet which is in this little box at the top it's in this styrofoam bag to protect it and here's the seven inch tablet this is the uh, wall pad and this is the trackpad. I'll go over the differences a little later on in the review. You can see here that this one has protective plastic at the top. I'll peel that off. The other one also has protective plastic here on the screen and also all the way around the perimeter here, kind of like a glossy part, and I'll peel that off as well. So, let's see what else is in here. The user's manual. Now this is nice, they include a screen protector, AC adapter. This is a USB cable this end gets connected into the tablet and this end into the computer's USB port. A stylus, and I think the end comes out of this. Yes, look at that. Now the stylus does vary a little bit. The other one comes with a stylus, but it's up at the top here, kind of inside the device. If I can get that out, so a little different here. Again, I'll go over the differences on these a little later on. Now you don't have to use the stylus, you could use your finger as well, but you can use a stylus if you want to. Earbuds. And they include a USB adapter. This end gets connected into the tablet and then you would connect the USB device into here. Now these items are actually not included. You can purchase them if you want to. A hard case for a tablet is always a good idea because it protects it. And also another option is a USB to Ethernet adapter. This end gets connected into the tablet and then you would connect your RJ45 cable into here. That's if you want a wired connection and they also include memory options. I just wanted to show you this optional hard case that they do offer. Now this is not leather, it's faux leather. Looks quite nice though. Has Android stamped on it right here and the Android symbol here on the back. And you can open this up very easily. Swing it around, then put this in the loop and it doubles as a stand. Now this is the woe pad and this is the track pad, look very similar. This one has kind of like a silver back, a bit of black right here, black on the front. Uh, this one's black all around, the front and the back. And also the button and port layout is a little different. I'll go through that in just a second. Now these, are certainly not meant to be high-end seven inch tablets. This is an alternative, something that is much, much more affordable, you know, mid-range seven inch tablets. Both of these come with Android 2.1, which is perfect for reading and browsing and any kind of multimedia needs. 
Now, being a basic tablet, well, you do basic things like, for example, reading ebooks, PDF files, documents, surf the web, write your emails, and you have access, of course, to thousands and thousands of apps. And most of them, or a lot of them, are free from the Android market. Uh, you can watch HD movies up to 720p, and you can actually output them if you want to to a large TV screen over HDMI. Uh, the touch screen on these are pretty impressive, also pretty bright. Battery life is average. It's between three to five hours, and that's nonstop uh, use, even playback uh, of movies. Uh, also, you can do 3G internet uh, is available uh, with the use of an external uh, USB modem, uh, but that's something that you would have to get uh, optional. Both of these have the Rockchip RK2818 processor clocking in at 600 megahertz plus DSP, 550 megahertz, so-called dual core design, as well as 256 megabytes of system memory. These as well come with a resistive single touch screen. There are similar capacitive screen models on the market, but they tend to drain battery, you know, a little bit faster and have no built-in camera. Uh, these models have pretty sensitive screens. I mean, you can use your finger if you want to, or you can use the stylus if you prefer, or maybe, you know, you'd rather use the stylus because, well, you don't want to use your finger and get grease marks all over the screen. On the trackpad model, there's a trackball which turns blue when the unit is turned on. A front-facing camera. I showed you the stylus earlier. It just slides out and simply slides back in. Reset button, power button, menu, escape, USB host, USB, power connection, headphone jack, HDMI, as well as a mini card slot. And at the back is a speaker. On the wall pad is a front facing camera. Got a couple of speakers, one here and one on the other side. Here's the reset button, power, menu, escape, and USB host, USB power adapter, headphone jack, HDMI, and that mini card slot. Now both of these have fairly good build quality and design, but to be honest, it's what you'd expect from a tablet in this class. But that being said, have a closer look. Especially the wall pad. I like the wall pads build quality a lot better than the track pad. You know, it has the metal back. Looks quite nice. Closer look at the track pad. Kind of like, you know, black, black, and more black. And this is a, a matte, uh, rubberized kind of material. The good thing about it is it will not attract fingerprints, which is good. I can't say I like glossy surfaces that much. Now, choosing between two of these is really a personal preference because they, in essence, have the same specs. They look a little bit different. This one has a trackball and the stylus included. This one also has one speaker and this one has two. Now remember that both of these use the same processor and have the same amount of internal memory. So with that being said, let me turn it on and see how long it takes to boot in.
Both of these tablets come with the Android 2.1 operating system. And the great thing about Android is it's open source. And that means lots of developers can get involved and write some really good code which produces lots of great apps and games. They've installed a few different apps right here. Many of these you'll probably remove right away and install what you want. Remember, you have thousands and thousands to choose from. Three screens here, you can see you can just swipe through these. Standard Android kind of stuff. Um, let me just go through a few of these. Note that they have little clock widget here on the desktop. But again, all of this is customizable. Long press and you get shortcuts, widgets, folders, or wallpapers that you can add to the home screen. Check out the audio player. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Video player. Remember this unit is capable of 720p. So, pretty impressive. Photo browser. Browse some of the photographs. And as you can see, it's, you know, it's pretty responsive. I mean, this is a tablet for basic tasks. Let's see what else we have here. A browser. And look at that. Orientation as well. Pretty quick, pretty responsive. Explorer, you know, just the internal memory, uh, external memory as well. And you can uh, record sounds, looks like a sound recorder right here. Let's see what else they've included. You've got a calculator, two plus two equals four. Camera. There you go. Let's see what kind of settings this has. It's a 1.3 megapixel camera, and yeah, it's pretty much on the best quality, uh, you know, which is not super great, but it's not too bad either. Documents to go, you can get the pro version of that if you want to. Your email, uh, Gmail, my favorite. Maps, you load maps. Pretty responsive. What else do we have here? This is probably a game. Three D games are completely out on this, um, but basic games sh should not be a problem. Let's just try this one. Enough of that. <laughs> the settings. This is all of the device settings. And I'm guessing Shelves is an e-book reader. Yes, it is. Let's see how responsive this is. I mean, this kind of a tablet would make a perfect e-book reader. They have Google Talk here as well as YouTube. Play one of my videos here. It doesn't look too bad. Let me fast forward. You knew all this, right? Well, it also has a little sticker down there that says includes 
Microsoft Office 20. So, you know, I mean, there's no problem to do certainly basic tasks on this. If you're in the market for a basic 7-inch Android tablet, well, either one of these would fit the bill. They are affordable and they do all of the basic tasks. However, the fit and finish on these are not perfect. They are not Android 2.2. Plus, which would give you flash in the browsers, although you can download browser apps to kind of do that. Also, you can't play any fancy games on these. But again, these are in a budget tablet class and they are great. Until next time, take care.